Hey, Brian Helfrich with Aquascape. Welcome to the 2010 Flower and Garden Show. What you're looking at behind me is the largest booth anybody has ever taken on at the Navy Pier Flower and Garden Show here in Chicago. The actual dimensions are 146 by 96, average width of 45 feet wide. All kinds of things going on, outdoor kitchens, bubbling urns, rain exchange, pergolas, gazebos, decks, patios. More than 70% of the entire booth is going to be nighttime. So lots of um, nightscaping going on in this whole section here. That's going to be the most exciting part for me about this booth is seeing a nighttime display. First time ever done at the Navy Pier Flower and Garden Show. So as you can see, Semco, our distributor for all of our stone, has brought in some of our massive rocks. Some of those rocks weigh well over 1,500 pounds. We're sitting at the east end of our booth. This side you're going to see a gazebo and a 100 foot long stream that kind of meanders underneath a pathway that twists and turns back and forth. So with a massive booth, you might wonder how long this is going to take us. Eight days to get all of this done. This is, like I said before, the biggest booth the Flower and Garden Show has ever let anybody take on and, and we're genuinely excited about doing it. For myself and the rest of the guys that work in construction, it's like playing in a big sandbox. It's awesome. Right here is our main entrance. Big giant ramp that comes up. We're gonna have two of our big resin slate urns. So big resin slate urn over here, big resin slate urn sitting over here. The arbor is gonna then frame out a giant bubbling urn. The urn will bubble out into a permeable patio. We're gonna have three foggers sitting up on top. Fog will pour down onto the permeable patio and kind of pour off into the sides. Over here, we're gonna have a small little pondless waterfall coming down right next to the permeable patio. The idea is to show things that people can relate to their own backyard, so smaller features here. Bubbling urn, small pondless waterfall. As you come past the pondless waterfall, you can see where Rafi's sitting back over here. That's exactly where our outdoor kitchen is. You've got the outdoor kitchen and then the facade of the house that comes right up next to that post. The whole purpose of the facade of the house is to illustrate the importance of our rain exchange. Right in here, I'm gonna step down into our rain exchange actual system. We have a very large pond here. The design of the pond mimics much of my backyard in Downers Grove. So right now I'm walking across a 10 foot by five foot wide bridge takes me out to a pergola sitting right in here. The bridge crosses our pond, pond wrapped around me on all sides. Right around in here is gonna be another arbor that lets us exit the nighttime booth and enter more of the daytime booth. To my right will be a waterfall that is the starting point of a 100 foot long stream that's gonna twist and turn and meander through the rest of this section. It's gonna cross a main path twice we're gonna have large, large outcropping type rocks as bridges to get across the water. Hey guys, welcome back. 2010 Flower and Garden Show, it's Wednesday. We're five days into it. As you can see, our booth is packed. At any given time, there's anywhere from 100 to 150 people in our booth. As always, people are interested in the smaller water features. People love the small aqua basins, people love the fountain rocks, people love the small poundless waterfalls, and of course we always get a lot of people interested in the rain exchange, doing things uh, different for stormwater management in their own backyards. So a fun fact, after talking with the structural engineer, he estimated our booth to be about a million and a half pounds. A lot of that has to do with probably the 60 tons of stone we have going in here, countless amounts of trees, the 600 yards of sand, the different pavers, the different uh, wall units, the outdoor kitchens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even in the doubt economy, we're seeing an enormous amount of positive response and a lot of interest. Of course, it's not in the $50,000 water feature we have behind us, the giant pond or the 85 foot long stream, but it's in the small aqua basin type features. It's in the three basalt columns. It's in the small pondless waterfall we have. People still want to do stuff to improve their backyard and these small features, people can visualize them in their backyard. So don't forget when you guys do your booths, put the small stuff back in there. Don't think you have to do giant ponds or huge streams. It's day five at the show. We got four days left. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed our coverage. More importantly, I hope you guys can take something away from this and implement it in your own business. Obviously you can see the booth is packed. Now I better get the heck out of here and sell some more ponds. Till next time. All right. 
first, first, first take. One take. All right, do it up. What do you want me to do? One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Alright. Hey, Brian Helfrich here, Aquascapes Designs. Yo. Let me show you the drawing that Rafi's holding over here. How's it going? Hey, Rafi, you forgot to show him the drawing. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you come over here, look at my man Rafi holding our drawing. Hey, hold it right. Sorry. So we come up a ramp here, big giant. You're gonna do that all day? All right, come up, <laughs> come up over here. Me and my man Rafi here, taped off everything and got some of the preliminary measurements. Good, Rafi. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's try it again, okay? Go what? again. Hey, so me and my man Rafi got here early, What's taped going? off the whole booth. Hey, I'm still talking. Wait till I'm done talking, then you can talk. Rafi, why don't you say hi to the, the rest of the country? Hello, country. We have over 10 water features. I counted eight. I guarantee we'll put two more in here before the time's done. Huh? Rafi's now moved over into the pond. He should probably be swimming right now. <laughs> right now, he's just leaped off of a waterfall down into the, the, <laughs> the pondless area. Hey, come with me. You want to see the rocks? <laughs> 